Hello everyone, we are Team Nanyang Thirteen. Our team ID is SG2003. Our team members are Sophie and Chevelle. About our team, our challenge is Arcade Coast Spaces Auto Driving U12. Our team members are Hao Ruo, Han, Sophie, and Li Yu and Chevelle. We are from Singapore and we are 12 years old. We study in Nanyang Primary School and we have been in robotics CCA for three years. Exclusive summary of preliminary challenge. Task, to pass all wave points within the shortest amount of time. Mission, pass all wave points within the shortest amount of time. The problems we investigated. What is the most efficient and best path? The methods, try every path and use different ways. The result, we could find the best route that took the shortest path. The conclusion, we spent much time trying to complete it in the shortest amount of time, but we still managed to do it in the end. Analysis, mission. The mission of the Closed Spaces Driving Challenge U12 is to pass all wave points and reach the finish line in the fastest time. Mini task. Crossing every wave point is considered as a mini task. Will the overall mission solve if the above mini task completed? Yes, all the overall missions were solved when we completed our mini task. AI algorithm and resources. AI algorithm. We match the speed of the robot moving forward to the speed of the robot turning so that the robot will be going in a consistent direction rather than tracing the lines by moving side to side. Tools and resources. Our kept code space ADC simulations. 2022. Implementation. Method. Try every path and see which one is the most efficient one. If there is a color marking on the path, it will give us a clue that there will be a shorter path. Low chart. Debugging. Sometimes the robot does not always go as we plan. It sometimes turns in circles suddenly or go in the grass. So we had to close the window and open it again. Other times we coded wrongly or we type in the wrong number. For example, the speed is supposed to be 95, but we put minus 95 instead. We run a test run and fix the problem. We should not give up when we encounter any problems. We need to find out what is wrong and fix it. Conclusion and further work. We were satisfied with our results as we tried our best, but we hope to improve it. If we had another chance, we would definitely aim to improve our timing. We needed to find out the shortest route for us to complete the task. The speed of the robot could be changed as well, and we could also use the timer function or the color sensing function. Learning experience. We had a great experience in participating in this challenge. We were able to develop values and skills such as problem solving and teamwork. We learned the importance of time management and communication skills. The Robo Cup Challenge has been a wonderful learning experience and we hope to share with others what we have learned through this competition. We wish to share with others participants not to give up and face the problems. Thank you.